Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. Found out my boyfriend, 25 male, cheated, spent a weekend in a hotel with her and unprotected, while I'm 4 months pregnant. What a disaster. I'm a 25 year old female, I'm 17 weeks along. My guy vanished during the weekend. I had no idea where he had gone. On Monday morning, he came up at my door, looking like he'd been ran over by a train. He was a complete shambles, evidently having parted all weekend. He even informed me of this. I was upset, but we talked it out, and he told me that he'd clean up his act and straighten himself out for me, and the baby when I packed his still, I had a nagging doubt. I awoke early on Tuesday morning to check through his phone, and lo and behold, there are texts between him and a female. Her claims that she missed his CK and wanted to FK again. I felt disgusted as well as sad. I yanked off his blankets and placed the phone in his face. Screaming and weeping, I couldn't believe he could do this to me. We fought for hours. I was forced to call. In ill to work. I was a sobbing mess, and he was sobbing and apologizing, pleading with me not to leave him. He made a mistake and wants to put things right. He said it was just a flirtation. It was guarded, and she meant nothing. He was so inebriated that he claimed he wasn't the same guy. He was inebriated and wounded me cruelly. He cut her off from everything. He said that he would go to any length to set things right. I foolishly believed, and we gradually examined the issues of what the fundamental reason of what transpired was. Today, though, I was just interested, so I addressed the girl and asked questions. She said he had booked a hotel room with her and spent the whole weekend with her getting high and intoxicated. He had also slept with her two weeks before on a night out. It was also unprotected. I need to get tested for an STD. I was enraged at him for lying to me again again. I confronted him and told him I couldn't do it. There's no way out of this. It's too difficult. He begged once more saying he didn't want to harm me any more than he already had. That's why he didn't give me any specifics. He admitted to cheating and screwing up. That was all the information I needed. I told you that it's messed up that you had with her unprotected, and then came home to me when I'm four months pregnant with your kid. STD are deadly to infants. How can he put me and my kid in such danger? I'm shivering with rage. He uttered the same old things. He was blocking her for a purpose. He simply needed to go away for a little while, so he stated he exploited her. He was out of his mind and wasn't thinking clearly. He declared he loved and cherished me, which he did before. I'm not sure where this came from. And he wants to have a future with me and the baby. We're both heading to the clinic tomorrow to be looked out. I'm so embarrassed and hurt, yet I still adore him. He seems to be sorry and in tears. He hasn't been himself recently. He's been acting out a lot and I. Not sure what's causing it. But he said we could figure it out. He recently started a new job, and he's doing all he can to show me that he'll change. I'd want to trust him, but I'm terrified. He was very easily mislead and hurtful to me. I'm afraid he'll do it again. What am I supposed to do? Story 2. I, 36 male, have refused to go to the future wedding of my now ex-wife, 37 female, and it's really affecting the relationship with our kids. I thought I'd give it a go to see if I could get any insight into my position since I couldn't figure out what I've done wrong and what I can do to fix it. So we've been married 15 years, together longer, and have three children. She has a daughter from her previous relationship who is now 18. I consider her my since I've done everything for her, and we have a 16-year-old and a 13-year-old boy. Now, she was open and honest about her when we first met, and it was never an issue until last year when she said she thought she was ultimately a lesbian and had fallen in love with her now fiancé 35F, which resulted in a divorce because I was unwilling to open the relationship or consider a poly situation. So it's been a year since we split, but we're still friends and have a nice co-parenting relationship. Even though we're okay, I'm still in pain and can't claim I'm close to moving on. The kids generally reside with mom, but I see them many times each week and can honestly say that if I didn't have them, I'd be in a world of hurt. So, earlier in the week, I received a phone call from my ex, who said she needed to tell me something, that she's now married. I was astounded as heck. 
Basically, she claimed they're not going to do the traditional thing and have a lengthy engagement. Instead, they're planning on getting married as soon as the lockdown is lifted and moving in together as soon as feasible. There's much more. She said that she wants me to be her best man since she still considers me her best friend and can't think of anybody else she prefer have there. I told her I wasn't satisfied with it and that I wasn't going to be her best man or that I didn't believe it was a good idea for me to be at the wedding. And I certainly don't want to move someone in with my kids after a year. My children now adore the fiancé and they are always talking about her. To say the least, she was unhappy and we haven't talked since. I mean, if that was all there was to it, I wouldn't be so furious. I mean, how does going to a wedding and witnessing my wife marry the woman she left me for sound like a good idea? And to be the finest guy possible. My kids, on the other hand, found out, somehow, and are very unhappy. My daughter, in particular, went off and stated she thought I was better than that, and that if I don't go to the wedding, she'll never speak to me again. The younger two refused to come visit me this week and have also refused to speak to me. I'm still close to and have a connection with my in-laws and they been on my case, saying I should move, particularly for the sake of my children. This is where I need assistance and someone to talk to. What should I do? I mean, the last thing I want to do is go to a wedding and see the lady I thought I'd be with forever marry someone else. However, I despise the notion of my children suffering and the possibility of not having them in my life, even if only for a short time, is excruciating. Help. Update. So I figured it'd be best to contact my daughter, so I texted her something like, Hey, I know you're not talking to me right now, but I believe we really need to chat. She accepted and came over promptly, much to my astonishment. Basically, I told her that now that she's an adult, I'm not going to sugarcoat things, I'm really not in a good place and her mother getting married to her girlfriend and asking me to be best man is a little much for me when I'm fighting to move on with my life. She said she understood, but it touched her close to home. She then came out to me as a lesbian. She stated she'd known for a while. She informed her mum my ex a while ago, but wasn't sure how to tell me, and was scared I wouldn't be able to accept it because of how I reacted to the wedding. I reassured her that I love her and am proud of her for being honest with me, and that the way I feel about her mother and now fiancé isn't because they're lesbians, but because she's my ex-wife, and I can't simply switch my emotions off like that I'd feel the same if her mother married a male. We hugged it out, and she said she'd speak to her brothers and see if she could bring them over since they live with mother and see the fiancé often, and they love her a lot, so they don't understand. I told her I couldn't guarantee I'd go to the wedding but if I felt up to it, I may try, but it would be difficult for me. While she was here, she FaceTimed her mother from her phone, and I had the opportunity to speak with my ex. I essentially told her I felt like she surprised me and dumped it on me without thinking about how I felt, particularly putting me on the spot about being her best man. I said the invitation to the wedding was one thing, but it was a bit much for me. She took it all in and apologized, admitting that she was caught up in the moment since she was all loved up and her family was telling her how pleased and proud they were. She inquired as to how I felt about it now. In all honesty, I stated it's a little too much to think about right now, but I'm not going to be her best man anyway. She knows and has said that she does not expect that from me. But if I didn't want to attend the wedding, would I be interested in only attending the reception? In all honesty, I answered, I don't know whether I can, and she shouldn't expect that from me. She agreed and said she'd leave it to me to try to comprehend if I could, but she'd be made up if I couldn't. I asked if she could put them on since the lads were there, but that didn't want to speak to me. Honestly, it felt like a punch in the testicles, so I left it there before it began me sobbing and she saw it, and let the daughter go so I could be alone. I'd never liked it when she saw me become emotional, much alone cry. That's all there is to it. We've all made peace, in a sense, but there's still a long way to go. Edit. A lot of people have commented about her cheating. While she did meet her current boyfriend before we broke up, I don't think there was any physical closeness. Maybe it was an emotional issue, but I don't think they got together till after we broke up. Edit 2. Many people have noticed that I don't express emotion around my children. I exhibit emotion around kids. I'm kind, witty, 
affectionate, modest, and so on. And I express grief at events like funerals, but I don't enjoy it when they see me weep, particularly at events like this.